An expert witness for prosecutors testified Roy Oliver used excessive force when he shot and killed Jordan Edwards. The former Balch Springs police officer is on trial for murder. Also in day four of the trial, more officers took the stand. Fox 4's Sean Rabb has more from court in downtown Dallas. Sean. And Natalie, each one of those officers that took the stand today also ha uh, having their own body camera video systems introduced as evidence from that night. The state trying to close its case against Roy Oliver, showing his actions April 29th, 2017, reckless and dangerous, and that he used excessive force. All of this through expert testimony, a former FBI agent who teaches the use of deadly force and the words of others who wear the Bald Springs badge. Why did he shoot? Questions from the brothers of Jordan Edwards minutes after he was shot and killed April 29th, 2017 by former Balt Springs officer Roy Oliver. The shooting and its aftermath told through five police body camera systems. This body cam video from Officer Jeffrey Baldwin. He was working a part-time job that night, heard gunshots, went to help. At the scene where the boys were felony stopped by police, Baldwin asked if the boys had weapons and eventually loosens their cuffs. Officer Jeremy Shambly took Oliver's rifle from him after the shooting and quarantined the weapon. Shambly's acting like a Officer Pedro Gonzalez, also working a part-time job that night, showed up as well. He is describing the language Oliver used, talking about the officer who took his rifle. Gonzalez then suggested Oliver, knowing someone was dead in the vehicle he fired in, check for a pulse on the slumped front seat passenger, Jordan Edwards. There's no way at that point in time when the window was broken that he s could say, I looked over and saw that he was in danger. Former police officer and FBI supervisory agent Dr. Philip Hayden testified as the state's use of force expert, telling the jury it's his opinion Roy Oliver used excessive force. There was no threat to Officer Gross at any time. He says so. Answering prosecutor Mike Snipes, the expert said shooting into a moving car could have been far worse. So it could have not only shot Jordan Edwards, but it could have shot Maximus Everett, Kavon Edwards, Maxwell Everett, and the driver of the car, Vidal Allen. I think it's only by the grace of God they didn't get hit. Defense lawyer Jim Lane challenging Hayden's ability to reach conclusions in this case. Would you agree with me that this is a Texas case and it's really involving the Texas Penal Code? It's a Texas case uh, involving Penal Code, but it's a murder case, so I'd really look up to the higher courts to what they would say about that. And of course, that is a reference to Supreme Court rulings that have kind of set the standard for police officers and their actions in these types of cases. We'll hear more about that, certainly when the defense presents its case. Natalie, the reason for putting on this other video is to show that other Balt Springs officers had a different mindset uh, April 29th, 2017, showing compassion, praying with uh, the youth, loosening their handcuffs even, while Oliver seemed irritated that the officer took his rifle after the shooting. Testimony begins again tomorrow morning at 9 a.m.